This video has been brought to you by Racism. Racism is acceptable wherever true Americans are. Perfect. Also, if anybody that you know would like to support this channel and the content that is provided, you can do that by way of the links that are provided underneath the video description below. Thank you. So, you know, what I like to do is I like to take people back, you know, every once in a while. I want to have people remember how things used to be, right? And I watched something recently and somebody posed a very ingenious question, right? They were like, hey, when you have BLM, right, what is the reaction? What's the, the normal feeling that you see? What do uh, people normally do? Right. And if you go back and you think long enough, you notice that there was always an opposition. Whenever that there was a Black Lives Matter protest, there was always an opposition that stated either A, White Lives Matter or B, All Lives Matter. And both A and B ended up becoming an all in one uh, type of opposition. And within that, you had other groups of people deciding that they wanted to join that as well because they thought initially right? That it really meant that all lives realistically mattered. And the main thing that I asked of a lot of people whenever I presented some videos in the past was that where were all of these all lives matter people before Black Lives Matter? Where were these same people back in the early 2000s? Where were these exact same people in the 90s? Where were these exact same people in the 80s, in the 70s, in the 60s, in the 50s? If they realistically believed that all lives mattered, then why weren't they saying this from the get-go? In a sense, the inception of the United States of America. But we all know that that wasn't the case and that they had to amend and make certain uh, types of changes to the rulings that they had in order to encompass, right, the rest of the colors and the creeds and the ethnicities and the religions, right, that were coming to this quote unquote free land. Remember, whenever people said Black Lives Matter, the rebuttal was always All Lives Mattered. And that was the main story. One was the good side, right, which was All Lives Matter, and the other one had to be the villainous side, right, which is Black Lives Matter. And they did everything in their power to demonize, right, the wording. I'm not talking about the, the people who own it. I'm not talking about the, the people who are making money directly off of it. I'm talking about just the initial words themselves, right, and what those words are supposed to cover, what they're supposed to demonstrate, what they're supposed to talk about, what they're supposed to bring about when it deals with the conversation uh, surrounding and dealing with America, right? But instead of me talking, let me just show a little bit of proof of what it is that I'm talking about. More than 300 people were at Saturday's mural repainting. Some of them that I spoke to tell me they were overcome with emotion as they repainted the Black Lives Matter mural. And to see the community come together to heal with each other, that is truly the way forward. And to, 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 to see it happening is really powerful. And it was first painted in 2020 after the murder of George Floyd caused a national movement for social justice. But in 2021, the mural was vandalized with tire marks. Today, two of the individuals responsible for vandalizing the mural were at the repainting, seeking reconciliation from the community they hurt. It means a lot. My post matters. Black Lives Matter. How important is this? How on page all this? How Black Lives Matter. My post matters. Have a great time. Have a great time, ma'am. Black Lives Matter. My post matters. You make no sense. What is wrong with you? Shelly Ward, a senior studying journalism and media studies. Shelly, what's your question? Um, congratulations on your the election. You, Do you support the Black Lives Matter movement? 
Well, I support the recognition that black lives matter, for sure, and I have incorporated that in many of my statements. Uh, I think it is, all lives matter, yes, uh, but there it has, we really have to redress past grievances in terms of how we have addressed the African American. So I think that we are all you know, working together to make sure that every part of our community, whether it's the uh, immigrant community, whether it's the black community, whether it's women's community and the rest, not only matter, but rule. Clarify that. I can clarify it very easily. You can follow the money, and the money of Black Lives Matter goes back to a guy, George Soros, so that tells you one thing. And let me tell you, all lives matter. It's not just about Black Lives Matter, okay? Now, if you really are concerned, start talking about school choice in the black community. If you really are concerned, start talking about the decimation of the black family, which I don't hear. Do not be manipulated by people that are using you as a political tool so that you can keep your own people suppressed. Get off the plantation and think on your Because you're the well, bigger right, because problem. Because I'm not the norm. Give me a break. Give yourself a break and sit and sit your ass down because you're embarrassing yourself. Keep it simple. My father, my father died for this country, my friend. Keep it simple. And so would I. So don't tell me about anything about. What do you know? You're a young kid. You don't know. So within the footage that you were able to see, you saw exactly what I was talking about. You heard people state that Black Lives Matter, not trying to exclude or stating that they're excluding, just simply stating that, hey, in the United States of America, where Black Lives have never mattered since the inception of America, Black Lives Matter. Just allowing people, just letting people to know, like, hey, we're here, we're alive. Look at us. Look what's happening. Look what's going on. Look what's being allowed by the system and the powers that be. Right. And you had people that wanted to state their opposition. You had a lady that came there and that wanted to ask a black man that was on the stage, you know, about Black Lives Matter. And he wanted to state in front of all of his people, all lives matter. You heard the applause of everybody that was there. You saw her just looking around being outnumbered, right? And then he wanted to shift the conversation away from Black Lives Matter to, well, if you really care about the black community, then you need to start worrying about, you know, proper choice in schools and all of this and all of that. And the funniest thing is, nobody is stating that anybody in this instance is incorrect, right? Two things can be right at the exact same time. But to try to shift the argument over to something else that people are clearly uh, not talking about, because that's not the main 
issue that is blaring, that is directly there that everybody can see on social media. You can see it directly on replay. You can see it getting talked about, right? You can see news organizations. You can see celebrities. You can see NFL, NBA players. You can see the families of those individuals, right? You can see them speaking out. They're not worried about the education at this moment in time. They're worried about their loved ones being slain on the streets, right, by way of a system. Now, again, some people want to deflect and they want to stay, oh, what about the, uh, what, 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 what about what black people do to each other every single day? Again, we're talking about one thing. It's, it's pretty funny how a lot of people tend not to want to stay focused. And then you heard in a uh, another thing where you had a guy in a black jacket who could have more than likely been an other undercover cop uh, basically stating that um, black lives uh, won't matter up until all lives matter. Right. And I'm like, what? I'm like, hold on. <laughs> maybe, maybe, you know what? Maybe, maybe I misheard that. Hey, maybe, maybe. I misheard that, right? And then you heard Nancy Pelosi. She stated that, yes, black lives do matter. And then she still went on to state, just like everybody else, all lives matter, right? And then she doubled down on it by basically stating that, you know, we're going to make sure that everybody, right, in, 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 a, in every community around the United States matters and yada, 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 and all these other types of things. So again, whenever... Black people have always tried to stand up for themselves and the community and tried to speak out against the political powers, tried to speak out against the the police and, and so on and so on and so on. There's always been a type of opposition at play. There's always been an opposition that would just spring up from out of nowhere. And nobody seems to ever pay attention. Nobody ever tends to notice the coincidence that magically when black people are standing up, magically all of these other people supernaturally want to stand up and they want to have these blaring loud voices to overpower, right? The black voices that are trying to specifically talk about an issue that is going on with them, that has always been going on with them. But again, maybe it's maybe it's just me. So what we're going to do is go to the other version of this, which is stop the Asian hate. And let's see if we can see the exact same things that we saw at the Black Lives Matter protest at the stop the Asian protest. I would just like to reiterate to a lot of the people that uh, if you would, you know, again, like to support the channel, you can do that by way of the links and also by subscribing <laughs> to the channel that you see directly in front of you, which is the Seji Zone. And, you know, again, we're going to try to get that up and running and see if we can make it do exactly what it do. To our communities, reach out everyone here. I will, I will offer, I will challenge everyone here. If you see something, will you help me? Yes! If you see one of our sisters and brothers in, in, in need, will you help us? Yes. And so we must understand, as Asian Americans, we just need to reach out our hand to our sisters and brothers and say, help me, and I'm here. And just for one thing, I am proud to be Asian. Yes. I want to hear you say, I am proud to be Asian. I, am proud to be Asian. I belong here. Too often, we've turned against one another. A mask, the easiest thing to do to save lives. Sometimes it divides us. States pit it against one another instead of working with each other. Vicious hate crimes against Asian Americans who've been attacked, harassed, blamed, and scapegoated. At this very moment, so many of them, our fellow Americans, they're on the front lines of this pandemic trying to save lives. And still, still, they're forced to live in fear for their lives just walking down streets in America. It's wrong, it's un-American, and it must stop. Stand for. So I'm proud to stand here with all the sponsoring organizations who are, have the vision to bring us together, to organize, to give us space. This is Congresswoman Young Kim. My heart breaks to hear of the recent events in Atlanta, and I'm praying for the victims as well as their loved ones. 
We're still waiting to hear of more details of what happened and the motivations behind the shooting. However, this shooting comes at a time when hate crimes against the Asian American Pacific Islander community are on the rise. I am rallying with the AAPI community today and always. Let me be clear, the hate we've seen against the Asian American community is unacceptable and it must stop. No group in our country is responsible for COVID-19. Asian Americans are Americans and are contributing to our communities across the nation every day. While my colleagues and I introduced a resolution in the House to condemn these crimes, we cannot legislate hate out of our hearts and minds. This has been a hard year for everyone, but the only way we will get through this pandemic is by working together, not tearing each other apart. I hope we can come together as a country in the coming months and years as we work to safely reopen our community. Blacks been pitted against Asians. We need the black community to realize that the that black people are hurting Asians and they need to speak out of, uh, in their own community. Now, within the, the clips that you were able to see, right, you had a Asian woman who was in a seat in political office representing her community. You had uh, her speaking out and basically stating that this needs to stop, that they're working on specific legislation to make sure that her people are protected, right? And rightfully so, no problem with that, right? Because something needs to be done, right? Justice needs to be served. Protections need to be placed directly out there, especially when it is one of your own and you have the power and the leverage to do so. You have every right to do that, right? And then you had an actor. She came out and she was amongst the protesters there. And she was stating how she is proud to be Asian American. She is proud to you know, be here. And she wants to know that she has the support from the people in her community that if they see something, that they will say something. And you heard the resounding yeses, right? Every time she asked for a yes, she got a yes back even louder. Right. And you, you basically saw her putting her heart directly out there on the street because this is something that she 100 percent is backing and 100 percent believes in. Right. And then you see President Joe Biden as he stood there. In front of that podium, and he specifically stated that these things are wrong, these things need to be stopped these things must come to an end and that in no way shape or form should asian americans have to suffer any type of harsh or wrongful treatment due to the fact of uh you know what was going on during that time during the two years that pretty much got erased out of everybody's lives and um and I'm like, you know what? You're right. You're the president of the United States. You are supposed to make sure to protect your people, right? You're supposed to make sure to protect everybody, right? But again, when it is that certain groups are suffering or going through certain things, you'll have a lot of these individuals speak directly for these groups, right? And on the situation and the problem, rightfully so, no problem. But magically, when it deals with black people, these same voices are completely silent, have nothing to say. But that's not even the main point, the main reason why I wanted to bring this up. Again, in any of those videos, where was the opposition? Where, where, where specifically were the over opinionated people who like to always scream that all lives matter, all lives matter, all where are all of those loud mouth people when the Asian Americans were having their protests throughout the United States? Where were they at? Where, where was that opposition? Did you just 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 remember if anybody can think far back enough when all of this is going on, where in the news across the United States, did you continuously hear of opposing forces coming to stop the Asian hate rallies? 
in order to contest what it is that they're stating. I'm just I'm just I'm just trying to figure out where was this continuously and pay attention to the words that I'm saying continuously happening anytime that there was a stop the Asian hate rally or a mention where was the opposition to be there every single time they weren't they didn't exist there was never a counter to stop the Asian hate right where was stop all hate. Where was the opposition for that? Where was the opposition for stop all hate? What about all hate is bad? So only Asian hate is bad? Hate for anybody else is A-OK? Because that, that's what I'm hearing, right? Isn't that what the All Lives Matter crowd tends to say when they when they hear Black Lives Matter? They'll be like, oh, well, you're only saying that Black Lives Matter. What, what about everybody else? My life matters. Her life matters. Everybody's life should actually matter, not just yours, right? But where were these people with the blowhorns? Where were these people with the bongos and the drums? Where were these people trying to wear their mask and their sunglasses, covering up their faces, being a part of a lot of these different groups and these oppositions? Where were they at? Nowhere. Oddly enough, they were nowhere to be seen, nowhere to be found, nowhere to be heard of. But I promise you, if there is another point in time when black people or whoever right starts up another type of movement there's magically going to be an opposing force to go against that movement and there's going to be magical deflecting like wonder woman going on in order to get away from the topic that is being presented in order to throw the focus onto something else but again instead of me just talking let me allow somebody from the asian american community to speak on this better than i can why were white people so threatened by Black Lives Matter that they had to create a whole reactionary movement against it? But they're not really making that big of a fuss over Stop Asian Hate. It's because Stop Asian Hate is empty. It doesn't go after the root cause, which is the state and its institutions. Hate implies interpersonal feelings and individuals. So the message is, oh, just don't be a crazy person and hate crime Asians and the work is done. And Asian racism isn't just hate. It's a deliberate narrative crafted to justify imperialism and war. The US killed millions of Asians overseas, the only way you can maintain public support for that is by dehumanizing Asians at home. But hate doesn't address any of those systemic issues because you can just reduce it to a bad apple. And so the white corporate media can weaponize this to their advantage by saying, oh, it's just a black versus Asian issue, all while leaving the larger systems of white supremacist violence intact.